the Nikki Glaser podcast. Here's Nikki. Hello, here I am. It's the Nikki Glazer Podcast. It's me. I'm the problem. It's me. It is Wednesday, and uh, it's really Tuesday where we are. You know, I'm always honest with you. Uh, Andrew is in St. Louis. I'm back in Los Angeles, California. Noah is in Tucson, and um, I had to. It's 10 a.m. here, or 10:19. We just, you know, we start a little late. Um, on the West Coast, I had to do at 9.15, I was doing a, um, a morning radio, sh- morning, no, morning TV show. You know, these like just daily morning local TV shows for San Diego because I'm going to be in um, Harrah's in Valley Center, but it's really San Diego um, this Saturday if you uh, live near there. I can't believe I've been saying Valley Center the whole time. I'm like... Who told me to promote Valley Center when it's San Diego? (laughs) Like, because not everyone who lives in San Diego probably even knows Valley Center is near San Diego. It's like, uh, this is just these like glitches in my marketing plans. Um, But every casino is in some city that is not the actual city it's in. But I'm in Harris in San Diego this weekend, outside of San Diego. But if you have a car or. You, you know uber will go out there so i don't know why i've been saying anyway i did a, the i didn't know it was in san diego until i did the morning show and i log on today and it's like you know sa- good morning san diego <laughs> and um it was a guy and a girl interviewing me and the guy was a super fan of mine from like stern and i'm guessing oh, Rose. Cool. and so he was like so excited and the girl was like fine she was less than <laughs> less so and it was funny because they told before in the pre-interview they're like they're gonna mention your tour and they're gonna mention welcome home nikki glazer and i'm like because i was like not feeling funny this morning i woke up i was just like had no makeup on i looked puffy faced i was just like no one wants to, no one's gonna like this interview i don't even know what is funny about myself and then i um and then i was like oh that's funny that they're gonna promote a show that's canceled and so i instantly as soon as i got on i was like um, well, my reality show isn't coming back, so you can enjoy the first <laughs> season, but thanks for bringing that, you know, like it was just uh, automatically funny. And then our interview went really well. And the guy was kind of just like gushing, like, you need to go back on Stern. They just did a, you know, dating show with Drew Barrymore. They should do one with you. I, and, uh, you know, I'm going into it with him and it was fun. And he's just like dying at everything I say. It was really nice. And then they say goodbye to me. The Nikki Glazer catcher this weekend at Harris in San Diego and at, on Saturday. Tickets still available. Here's the link. Da, da, da. And then they're like, bye, Nikki. And I wave off. And then my screen goes out. And then it cuts to them just solo in studio, just like kind of going to the commercial. You know, when the camera kind of like pulls out and they're still mic'd. And he was like, I just love her. And she goes, clearly. Oh, <laughs> and then it just shit. Goes. <laughs> Oh snap, <laughs> dude! That uh, clearly that feels like they got it was something so, going on. I That's wish amazing. I would have been screen recording. It was such a good uh, clearly, like uh, keep it in your pants, John. Like yeah, Raul was. Yeah. His we'll name, talk actually. about this when we get home. Yeah, it was just like she, she was just like not having it, but it was uh, it was funny. She was probably just like calm down, you know, or I don't know, maybe there is something there, but probably not. They but they were both she or she might have just been like. Clearly, you like, but I read into it as clearly. No, it's um, definitely. I'm always, yeah, it was kind of a I, dig. Um, <laughs> but that was my morning of doing that. And I was just like, it would have been great uh, if you could have still got sleep. a word in. Like, if you're like, oh, yeah, clearly, thanks. Still here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, then. <laughs> was it clear? <laughs> or was Shawnee? it clear, cl- Claire? Clear, Claire? <laughs> clear, Claire? <laughs> um, no, they were both very nice. And they were actually really good interviewers because sometimes. They ask too many questions or they get like offended at everything you say. That's the thing with uh, morning TV hosts is everything you say because they know you're filthy, It you know, at points in your career, they're just like, no. And I'm like, I just woke up and they're like, we know what that means. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. were in a bed with a man getting banged out. Like it's everything's innuendo. Something um, like that just happened to you. You were talking about it a couple of weeks what? ago on like a morning getting LA banged show. Out in the morning? No, and you said you, that, that you weren't ever going to go back there because they were kind of rude to you and they kept trying to like act funny oh I hope I remember that because I don't remember it's not coming to my recollection now but I hope I remember so I don't go back there 
Um, I had an experience recently with someone, a celebrity, where they just really dismissed me in to pay attention to another person they thought was more famous. There's this thing that celebrities do. I've had it happen to me a couple of times, and I can't wait to write a tell-all book when these people are dead to tell you who did it. But um, <laughs> they do this thing where they are so aware of maybe another famous person talking to them who's in the room that they'll be looking at you having a conversation, and I will ask a question, and they will they will have been, we will have been in a back and forth at this point. I will ask yeah. another question, and then the person that is more famous will say something, not even to them, but say something, and so they quickly look over and don't even they hear my question look at me and don't answer and then look over at them and try to engage in them and it is it is the only embarrassing thing about it is that other people witness it and see you get completely um dismissed yeah, by what's this the person move there what do you do there my friend Robin witnessed it happen to me with a big celebrity once. It's always because there's a fa more famous person next to me. And I didn't, the second time it happened, the move is I'm going to be, it makes me want to become so successful because this girl underestimated me and thinks I'm not going to be anything that she has to worry about someday. And when she comes on my show someday to promote something, I'm going to go, oh, actually, we're not going to have her on. <laughs> Cancel her. The day before, and she's already flown in and gotten her, and spent two thousand dollars on a stylist and practiced her little song she's gonna sing. Can't come on anymore. Sorry, you were you dismissed me. Remember me? Remember me that you thought I wasn't more famous than that girl who had a reality show on E a million years ago that you probably watched and thought was more important than me? Oh, remember when you dismissed me because you? I told I like mentioned during this long day that I was like taking singing lessons, and I wasn't mentioning it like I'm a singer. But I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not a good singer, but I'm trying. And this person's a singer and they could not have hated me more for that. Like all of a sudden it became everything they said was about like, I'm a singer. Me and this girl are singers and you're not a singer. Like mm. we everything was like it uh, suddenly they just became that was their only thing that they wanted to talk about. And I was like and because they knew I was like trying. It was like mean girls. But I can't wait. Like that's the kind of thing that makes me work hard. It's because I have I love that to it makes someday. You more competitive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can't. Such I a good have, trait. I don't even want a late night talk show, but I want one so we can book her <laughs> and then tell her she can't and come on. And then she her. asks why, and I say, "Oh, let her know that ten years ago we did this show together." And she, I asked her a question that I didn't even care about because I was just trying to be nice because all she seemed to care about was talking about herself. So I asked her a question about herself because she didn't give a fuck about anyone else. And she looked through me, heard the question, and then looked the other way. And I know she heard the question because she followed it up later after she dismissed me. It was wild. Maybe you can set her up too, like Ashley Simpson style. Like she's a fucking, that she's lip syncing and her... She's been a liar this she whole wasn't. time. She's a good singer. Damn it. I do know that. <laughs> She's but really I was talented, just, actually. She actually is very talented. No doubt about it. But is, I will man. not have Whenever that talent on my show someday. <laughs> I have so many like ideas of who it is. I'm sure people at no home, idea. too. I know. It's probably like something. No one has any idea. It, it's, it was a thing I did months ago. And um, yeah. I, I purposely waited to talk about it so that you couldn't place it because I've done so many things with so many. There's been so many things I've done with singers that you won't be able to place it. But oh. someday I'll tell you when it's proven, when it comes out that she's a racist or something or she <laughs> beats her dog. And then I'll go, actually, I have a good story about this woman who's already canceled. People are um, like, Nikki, she beats her dog. This story doesn't seem that bad. You're like, no, she uh, fucking dissed me. She's like, yeah, she yeah. killed like nine well, that's dogs. That's the only time that's you can pile on about <laughs> the bad stuff you know about celebrities is when they get canceled. You can't before uh, then yeah. because you risk losing everything. Like the other day on the podcast that I did solo, I mentioned that I may have heard Julia Roberts wasn't the coolest person or was kind of out of touch. And that even scared me to do because I'm mm. like, she that could have if what if that gets back to, like that could affect everything and yesterday i was going to post a clip of gwyneth paltrow getting taken down by this tiktoker because she was talking about like nowadays you just can be famous for having no talent and this guy like interrupt you know on tiktok where they like interrupt and he's like excuse me gwyneth i'm sorry this you this you did nothing to get where you are you have rich parents you grow up you went to private school on the upper east side you are you have a famous mom and a famous dad you did nothing you did and then i was like actually i kind of see gwyneth's point she's at least she like studied acting and is talented she has a talent where she's talking about these people 
you know, who don't have talent. But I honestly think that being funny on TikTok is a talent. There are sometimes I run into people and I'm like, this girl is so fucking funny. Put her, I wish I casted SNL. I could really make a whole cast out of people, obscure people on TikTok. Mm-hmm. I sometimes just go down a rabbit hole of someone. So I don't know. I'm trying to think of people who, models aren't actually, Kardashians aren't talented. That's the thing. That That is, I mean, they're talented for being interesting and um, I guess, but, but, and that's the oldest, that's the most hacky thing you can say is the Kardashians aren't talented. But those are the only people that I can really point to and go, there's no, they're, I mean, they are good models, so I'll give them that. And they're interesting um, reality show people. And that's a talent too, as I know, since I've been on a reality show that's been canceled. So clearly I couldn't do what they did. <laughs> um, it was also a different time in TV. The first season of their show, no one watched it either, except now if no one watches the first season of show, your show, you get canceled. And uh, back then they would give you an opportunity because that was the way TV worked back then as they were like, oh, they had faith in shows and they like left them on air. Um, it's so people would, you know, you can't gain an audience over one season. So the first season of the Kardashians bombed. From what I um, made up just now. <laughs> That's talented. <laughs> I don't know. No, Whatever I really that... think that didn't do well. Um, but that is... Uh, did yeah, you, have I mean, you ever if... felt that way? Like, don't you hate when there's a friend of yours? Like, I have one friend, too, who I love this person. And they have meant so much to me in my life throughout my life and been so good to me. And then I got a little bit famous, and boy, they got better to me. Suddenly, they were like, "Oh yeah, so nice like to me." A lot and of people, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, but then if someone more famous walks in the in the comedy uh, cellar, I'd be done. They can't. They they can't even listen. They can't hear me. It's like the. It, they are just so distracted, like they're waiting for their fajitas to arrive. You know, like when you're hungry and you can't focus. That's what it's like when Chris Rock walks in with when I'm sitting across from this person. There is something like uh, in college because I cheated so much and I was such a disaster that people just thought I was a, literally a joke. You know, like yeah. at, like they were friends with me, but they like treated me like I was like a gorilla at the zoo. Like, oh, Colin's here. Let's throw shots in his mouth and see him try to suck his own dick or so- something like. And I did. You were but, yeah, a party but, animal. And that was your you were like they put a my coin whole identity in you, but it was, was Jaeger. Yeah. My whole identity was just being dumb. And then dance. Dance, yeah, exactly. And then, you know, I did this for 10 years and I finally kind of, I guess, whatever, made it to a point where I'm at. And now they're like, oh, yeah, you were always funny. You were like, it does feel different of how they, but I guess they respect me more now. But it's also like you couldn't see then that I like was like maybe because I didn't love myself, whatever. But yeah, I don't blame them completely. But there is like more like DMs of like random people that I haven't talked to in nine years. Yeah. Wow. And they're like, dude, it's... you're coming here to this city. Oh, we should hang Can out get and tickets? get drinks after. And I'm yeah. like, dude, you like, like hated me. I think you hazed me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you snowed yeah, down you my shirt. <laughs> you cyber bullied me for in months. person. <laughs> on, on before AOL, you use Prodigy. Um, I guess it's yeah, kind of rewarding is, when that happens, though. You know, I you kind of... no, it isn't. You know why? Because <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't make me feel good because it makes me feel like actually. You know what makes me feel good is that I realized this person that I've built up in my head that didn't like me because they just didn't think I was funny, or they didn't like me because they just thought I was. You know, my mind goes to like not cool, ugly, not pretty, like just not funny, then I realized, oh, they didn't like me because I wasn't famous enough. They are so, they're so shallow. And they're usually a person that I would put on a pedestal, right? Because I want them to like me. Why don't they like me? They're they're funny. They're cool. They seem to like everyone else. And then at some point, they start acknowledging me. And they don't, uh, on a, oh my God, this one person on a red carpet once. I'll never forget it. Oh, <laughs> this person I had so many run-ins with where they were just dismissive of me. It was on a red. I'm not going to even place it because I just don't ever want it to come back to the person because I'm still scared of them. But blue carpet. Um, I was, yeah. It was a um, <laughs> maroon. That's a you know for all the Swifties out there. So it was a maroon uh, carpet, and it, she was with her partner, um, and I was by myself. I was completely out of place. You could tell that I was. I was alone. Um, she knows me and too cool for school won't even look at me and then i'm waiting do you do the thing ever where you see someone and you know you're gonna say hi once you see each other and so you kind of just like 
wait for them to see you in your periphery. I mean, we were literally three feet apart and I knew she already saw me and it was getting to the point where I was like, we're going to have to acknowledge each other. I know she doesn't like me for whatever reason. Come to find out it's because I'm not famous because now she's nice to me. But at the time I wasn't. And, um, and I see her see me out of the corner of her eye or I, I, I'm looking at her for maybe two seconds because I know she's about to turn her head and she'll see me. And then she turns her head and looks at me and goes, Okay, just staring at me. Hi. Oh, my God, dude. I would be so angry at that. Oh, my God. And I was like, oh, I I wasn't. I was just waiting for, you know, and I was trying to explain it, but it was on the red carpet. It was so hot out. It was so freaking hot. And um, I I, I had the skirt on, and I was soaked. And I was trying to make small talk because they were kind of talking about how hot it was. And I was like, it is like a waterfall underneath this of sweat. And she just goes, ew. And I'm just like, oh, cool. Like, (laughs) cannot win with this bitch. (laughs) Totally ignores me. Won't be nice. Makes fun of me for staring at her. It was just like, it was. And then I find, and then she's nice to me once I, you know, get a little bit more famous. And all I wanted her, she's so cool. All I wanted her was to like me. And now she does. And I'm like, I liked you better when you were consistent, you know, when you just were a straight up cunt across the board. I like, <laughs> I respected you. I feared you. And now I know you're just as sad as, as the saddest, but like, you're just, you, you care about people's fame. Like you were, you're supposed to be cooler than that. You're the coolest person ever. And that's where you go. This is sad. And then, and I swear to God, any comedian or a famous person that you look at and you think they are so above it and that they, le- they would not be, goo goo eyed for like a famous person or they wouldn't change or they wouldn't dismiss you i promise you they would i really think that i would not i i I, you know you don't know yourself but i do not i definitely get like gaga eyed for a celebrity there's no doubt about it but i will not dismiss a lesser celebrity or a lesser or a person i'm talking to unless they're my friend i'll be like oh my god hold on i gotta go say something to this guy like (laughs) i'll bring you in on it i'm not gonna actually dismiss you but i will tell you one of the coolest comedians that everyone thinks is the coolest guy there is that, and I'm not, John Stewart actually wouldn't. I, when I said that, I go, who would I think she's talking about? And I would think John Stewart. John Stewart actually would not probably ignore someone for someone famous. But the other coolest guy that you think just tells it like it is <laughs> and is just an everyman and doesn't involve himself with Hollywood is such a climber. They're all climbers, everyone. They all would kick you. They would stand upon you to get to get an autograph from some from you know uh, Kelly Clarkson. Like this is the level. Like they will or um you know uh someone that they would probably like Kim Kardashian. Someone that they would make fun of on stage when that person walks in. They will and I'm like that too with Kim Kardashian. I could talk shit, but um <laughs> that's that was really disappointing to me was seeing these people that I go wow they're like the they're heroes of like not caring what other people think and not. They just seem like they transcend celebrity, but they all are climbers. That's how they make it. They're all climbers. We got to go to break. I'll come back with more. After this. <laughs> all right, we're back. Um, tonight, my mom is coming to town. Um, we're doing a TV show tomorrow. And um, I'm excited tonight. Before my mom gets to town, I'm doing a set um, at the comedy store called Comedy on the Spot. And man, I don't want to do comedy on the spot. Um, yeah. It's just Jeremiah just give Watkins you a- show and they just give you stuff. I'll be, I told him, I was like, he puts up clips too. And I go, will you not clip this out if I don't do well? Like, am I, do I get to have final say? I'm, it's the only way I'm doing the show. And he was like, yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to do it. But I don't. I don't like being put on the spot, but it'll be fine. I did some crowd work this weekend. It was really fun. It worked out. There was like a guy in the front row with um, a girl and I asked, they, oh, he, I was doing a joke about short guys and he raised his hand and he's like, I'm short. And I go, and you're with this girl? And he was like, no. And I'm like, are you guys friends? And he was like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, well, he's in love with you. Like a hundred percent. And everyone laughed. (laughs) And I'm like, it's just the way it is. Sorry. Like if you're going to a show together and he's like, I'm, I have a girlfriend and I go, well, that's a cool bitch to let you go out with this pretty girl. And then um, 
And I go, or are you his mistress? Like I couldn't. And then I started yeah. like kind of cracking something that I d- almost was like, oh, I don't want to out them as. <laughs> and then another person that like knew them was like, that's not the whole story. And I was like, we are stopping this. Like I just, I, ch- I got out of it. St- I-, I didn't even say what she said because I was like, I don't even want anyone to know. I didn't want to bust oh them. <laughs> it was so scary. God. But that's how I feel about crowd work is sometimes you just. You end up talking like to people, a and they in their don't. Divorce case. The, yeah, yeah, they, love, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. usually, like the guy will start talking, and the girl gets pulled into it. And I don't like making people who don't want to be talked to feel uneasy. Like Noah, if you were at a show and suddenly someone started talking to you, you would be horrified. Oh, horrified! And actually, yeah. I'm I'm going to see Colin Quinn on Thursday. Oh, He's fun! In town. And um, so all the tickets for like the first four rows are like standard tickets. And then after that row, it said GA, which is, um, you know, like, so I'm like, wait, I don't want to have to get there when doors open. So I don't, but I also don't want to get a shitty seat. So then I bought the tickets, but now I'm just like, oh my God, I don't want him to see me. How do I become invisible? (laughs) That's why at the beginning of all my shows, I always say, don't worry, I'm not going to talk to any of you. Like if you're a girl that whose boyfriend is dying for me to talk to you, I'm not going to. And the guys are always like, please. I'm like, I'm not going to do it because I'm trying. It's not because I'm scared of crowd work. I just don't want to make girls like I realize that's it. I don't want to make people feel uncomfortable or have if I start talking to one couple, I don't want the couple next to them to suddenly go like, oh, please don't talk to me. Please don't talk to me. Please don't talk to me. Because I know that feeling. I used to feel that way, too, when I would go to things like, please don't call on me, please. Like the teacher, like. And people are paying money to see me. I don't want to give them a panic attack. It's you hard know? too because like the best people to do crowd work with isn't the one that really wants to be talked to because then oh, they try to be yeah. funny and then they're like they're not exactly. they're not they don't answer real. But then you don't want to talk to the two nerd. There's someone like in the middle, but you know, like there's someone in the middle who doesn't care either way and is just yeah. like not nervous to answer and is but there but isn't and, eager yeah. to answer. Yes, that is the best. If you are that person, sit up front. Yeah, um, that's a great person. Thank like you. raise your hand <laughs> yeah. or something. <laughs> if my show is the best show for people with social anxiety to go to, I will never ever. The only reason I went in the crowd is because this guy held, raised up his hand and um and I as immediately as soon as things it's, the girl showed that she was a little tense, I just completely left her alone. I'm never oh, gonna great. like make you feel uncomfortable. Um, yeah, I'm super uh, aware of that. And are you excited and to have your mom in town? Yeah, I mean, she's isn't it always that thing of like, yeah, she's staying tonight and t- tomorrow, tomorrow, yeah, she gets in tonight and then tomorrow night too, and then on um, Thursday, uh, Anya's doing a show in Santa Barbara at this like nice hotel that she met some fans of mine at a show last tour, and they were like, we need to have you come perform at this hotel we own, and um, so they had actually fell, they followed through these drunk guys that she was like, there's no way they're gonna actually. <laughs> do this and so we were staying at this like amazing resort in santa barbara i'm bringing my mom up we're getting massages and it's all comped and it's so nice oh yeah uh we're gonna sing anti-hero together i think taylor swift's anti-hero and then um and then i have two shows in california that the next two days so it's just like a weekend of california and that it's just so nice to not have to get on uh so many flights and um but yeah but the thing with your parents is like it's the same thing on the show alone People just get in their heads about how much they miss their people at home, how much they miss their family, how much they can't wait to see them. And then they leave the show and they go home and it's fun. It's like, you know, greetings for like an hour it lasts. And then it's back to like taking <laughs> Everyone's them for just granted. Doing their own thing. Yeah. Granted. Yeah. I always say granted because I'm trying to say the opposite. I really can't say that phrase anymore because I always get it wrong. Um, even I miss Chris so much this weekend. I told him when he got I, he got home last night. I got a little bit of an attitude last night because he is working on Beauty and the Beast and it's late nights now because the show is like getting closer. This is what TV production is. You just say goodbye to your loved one and just it's all it's like he's on the show alone. Like I won't see him. He'll get eaten by a bear. Um, And he came home last night. He said he's going to be home at eight and then it was eight thirty. No, it was eight thirty originally was the latest. And then eight forty five was more likely. And then it was he wasn't home until 9 30 and I just was like hungry missing him wanting to see him and I just got a little bit of a toot and I was like I'm not mad at you I'm just mad at like time and I missed you and I even told him that this weekend I was kind of in like a bummer mood 
for a little bit of it. Like I was just like kind of down the first day, second day. And, um, no, and Anya was like, what's going on? And I was like, I think I miss Chris. Like I've never been able to pl- miss, I've never missed anyone. <laughs> I've never like lived with anyone like in the same bed kind of thing. And, um, I just was like sad. And then I told him, I was like, I missed you for the first time ever being on the road. And he was like, okay, that doesn't feel like he was like, yeah, okay. Can- <laughs> and I was like, yeah. and by the third day I didn't miss him anymore because I was like back to, this is my life. I'm on the road. I compartmentalize. He's there. He, he's not even for me to hang out with. I can't. It's almost like what, what I say about when I lose money on something. That money was never mine to have. And I'm like, he's not mine to have on Saturday and Sunday. Get it out of your head. If you think of your, it is like, I can't have that person, then you don't miss them as much. But I allowed myself to feel miss. And it was nice. Do you miss Brenna when you're on the road? I mean, clearly. I do. Like, I guys, do. And yeah. it's it's hard, especially. I clearly. feel like Chris. <laughs> Cr- Sorry, yeah, I dropped clearly. it clearly. <laughs> yeah, clearly. Um, I feel, <laughs> does Chris tell you that he misses, you? does he like, what's hard is like Brenna will like just be completely honest about being depressed about missing me. And then mm-hmm. I feel uh... like so bad about not being there for her, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's just those kind of, I'm just like, can you just tell me that you don't miss me? Like almost I want her to be like, I'm living to my best life. Right. Don't ever come home again, you know? But I, yeah, yeah. Of, of course I miss her. I wish I got to a place where I could bring her more often. That'd be fucking awesome. You know, yeah, share she these to work, experiences. Right? Yeah, she has to work like a fucking asshole. Can't yeah, believe it. I know. I, that's um, the ideal life too. I, Yeah, Chris was, he was like, I missed you too, but... He busies himself. He's used to be, we're both, he said he missed me when he did social things. He's like, I would stay longer at this thing if Nikki were with me. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. He was like, but when I'm home, just like working on my bike, on my computer, watching football, I don't, no, I don't think, and I'm the same way. Like, I missed him like at the shows. Like, I want someone to, I just want to like, you know, Anya would be with the merch booth and I would just be like, oh, I just want someone to hang, you know, it would just be like that or, or, you know, going to bed at night and wanting to, and just wanting to watch alone. I think I just missed the show alone and I couldn't watch it without him. You had to watch and alone love is blind. with somebody. Are, have you started Love is Blind again? Like the new no, piece? Not yet. Not yet. Um, right. Um, it's I got home so, pretty late last night. But Brenna picked you're me up from the tomorrow. airport. Because you only came home for one day. Why didn't yeah. you fly just to straight, oh, I guess just to see Brenna? Yeah, and I guess, I don't even know. I didn't really think about Oh, because the Alabama thing was real last second. Um, oh, okay. So I wasn't even so expecting you had pl- it. So you had already booked the ticket. For but I'm staying in Austin months. all weekend, so I'm pretty excited about that. We're going to go to like oh, the fun. Texas TCU football game, and that'll well, be exciting. Is Brenda coming with you? Yeah, she's going to come on Thursday night. Oh, that's night. nice. And I have oh, buddies in from New York, and yeah, it's just like, the show's Wednesday. It, I don't know, these weekday shows... When you do the weekends, you're like, I, I set it up because I wasn't going to do weekends, and now I'm doing weekends. So it's just like, okay, now I'm going back to the airport. I'm home for like 15 hours, but it's good. So you I'm happy are doing weekends? Uh, maybe occasionally. I mean, just right. randomly. Um, right. But uh, yeah, yeah it no, is, uh, Austin, it's nice to have a weekend. Oh, yeah. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. We're staying at, at a cool hotel and whatever. But, um, she picked me up from the airport and in, in her and uh, that was fucking awesome. Like there's nothing better than getting picked up from the airport after a long trip by your girlfriend. I, and yeah, she's like and I she don't. has Did you have a boner when me. you hugged her? Jesus, no. Well, I just wanna <laughs> Did what did <laughs> Noah say? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> what did Noah I asked say? If he she had goes, a boner when he hugged her, because you must have like Mr. been horny for her so much. Oh yeah, like how soon are you just like jumping each other's bones? <laughs> I'm, you know me. After a fucking couple flights, I just want to sleep. I, I don't even. Yeah, I have a boner true. the next night. It takes a lot of blood. To, all my blood's gone. I don't know where it goes. Yes. It stays up in the I'm air. Ask I'm the same, same way. Question. I was just. Did Chris was, have a no, boner have when a you hugged him? Or like <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, we got. Did things, you have a boner? No, <laughs> we. It wasn't. It's like it's no. I I'm going through a dry spell of my life that is not related to my boyfriend at all. I just don't. I don't crave. I gotta say, I'm too tired for sex. Sex takes too much work. <laughs> Dude, it's so, so much. <laughs> much physical activity. It's like signing up for a a for F45. Yeah, F9. I don't want a Peloton. <laughs> I don't. However many minutes it takes, uh, it's too long. It, it's not too long. It's just too. And sometimes I'm just like, 
I don't know what's going on. We, you know, it's, he even said something the other night, like, hey, I'm just sensing, I'm not taking personally, but like, you're not like into, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on. It's like, am I getting to this age where it like doesn't matter to me anymore? Because I still, it still matters. Sometimes I, I get really horny on planes for some reason. <laughs> Like, I don't know if it's, that's where, not all the time, but sometimes. And please, I think it's like one out of every hundred times, honestly, because that's how often I fly. But that's where it will hit me sometimes. I never get horny outside of my boyfriend, like, touching me or me watching porn. I never am just, like, triggered by something in the environment, except when I'm on planes, once in a while, one percent of times. So if you see me on a plane, please don't think I'm, like, getting wet and, like, masturbating. <laughs> it's not happening. I didn't Unless you're in first there. class. No, not then, because <laughs> first class is too spread out. I got to like crumple in a ball to Ugh, get my I, fantasies going. I had a middle seat yesterday and two Ugh. of like the biggest guys ever. And they were like, there's something to like. You always when get you... the worst luck on flights. Like I've never met anyone who has worse people oh. sitting next to him on flights. There's nothing how did you get a when, middle? When what happened to middle? you? What did you, why, why are you getting it a middle seat? It was a late seat? flight. Late flight, late, oh. late booking. And then you get there gotcha. and the guys have the fucking armrests they oh. already are there before you and they already have control of the armrest and you're like okay i'm the middle middle gets to... the armrest that's middle the gets rule. the armrest but the, they you were... don't go over into oh. the other person's seat but you get the armrest so i couldn't get the armrest from the guy on the left he just wouldn't give it up and the best way to like... sleep in a middle seat is to pile up your backpack on top of the table tray and then lean forward on top of it and then uh, use it as a lean to. And then like you can go to sleep. And if you pile your sweatshirt too, as the, you want to pile it so high, so much higher than you think. And that's the best way to sleep on a middle seat. It's almost, it's go, It's better than an aisle. Aisle for me is the worst. Do you but, bring um, it up though? Should I brought it? Should I go, hey, hey, armrest, middle guy. No, you middle. would never do that. I, I w even if I thought that was a good idea, I'd know that <laughs> you like that. never in a million years, especially if they were men. T Andrew's terrified of men. <laughs> I'm terrified of Almost as much as women should be. I don't think I yeah, trust myself in You're more scared of men than women are, I think. No, like I'm Like, your not. top priority, I'll... like, if you if there's some hot women, you have less... Like, most men want to look cool in front of hot women, but you want to look cool in front of <laughs> hot men. <laughs> and I'm the same way. I don't care about hot men, like, yeah, being yeah. cool in front of them or looking super hot. I care about looking cool in front of women. What is that? Yeah, I have no idea. Because that I is just weird. want, we want friends more than, or we want social Maybe acceptance in the the part, people that, because men are never going to have me in their tribe. They're never going to invite me to their gatherings. Like, they're not going to have me really, they're just going to fuck me if they want me. Whereas girls, if they like you, they let you, they want to be friends with you. That's the thing. Mm. I think that's it, is that I want companionship more than I want to get railed. Yes, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what, yeah. what I would have said. Okay, yeah. Even though you have a lot of girlfriends, so they do offer you companionship. Yeah, Guy but I also think Guy friends for women, like, not as much. I, I feel like I, 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 I almost, I, I feel it's attainable to get guy friends, but to fuck these girls yes. uh, for most of my life, I didn't feel like it was going to happen anyways. So why even try? Right. Okay. Let's get to the news. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Yeah, you heard it here first. Oh my God! Breaking news. Sorry, Deandre, say the intro. I just can't believe I just got this text. Are you okay? What's happening? He's trying to plug his computer in. Um, okay, so I just on my group family chat, my dad just sent a picture of Arlo with his eyes crossed. Okay. Aww. And it and it says underneath Arlo's reaction to matzo ball soup. What? What? We just sorry if that's anti-Semitic. I don't know what to make of this. It means it's it's making him googly eyed. He loves oh, it. Oh, like he likes it? Okay, let me just check. Does that mean he likes it? Question mark. All right, we'll see. Um, matzo ball soup definitely what was on best uh, top one, bottom one. That was uh, Noah's top one. I really want some matzo ball. Can you get vegan matzo ball soup? There's no meat in it, right? Well, the chicken stock, but you could yeah, I guess oh, you could chicken put stock, a matzo but you could probably do veg vegetable, vegetable stock. stock. Yeah. I just oh, want to throw what? that ball. Is it okay I was... if I want to just take the ball and hold it in my hand to go, you need an egg and make an ASMR video? What? You need an egg in the matzo ball. Oh, oh. shit. I guarantee I'm they sure have. I'm sure there are substitutes. They definitely have that, for sure. Substitutes? Yeah, sub I didn't say an extra T. <laughs> um, all right. What's the news today, Noah? Where do you get the matzo ball soup? that burp. Where do you get the matzo ball soup? 
<laughs> I don't know. There's no, no delis around my parents. Yeah. House. Oh, that means he does like it. Confirmation. We do have breaking news. It does mean he likes it. Can he okay, do cross-eyes yep. whenever he, he wants? His... That's impressive for his age, right? Can you guys do cross-eyed? That photo looks very artsy also. Yeah, I could do it. Yeah, it's pretty He's wearing good. a striped shirt. I don't know. It just looks very like modern art. Can you touch your nose with your tongue? Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, no. no. I can't. No. Yeah. Ugh, we're all losers. I can't either. Damn it. I can wiggle my ears. My party tricks are wiggle my ears. Uh, you know, clap the uh, prayer hands behind my back and back bend, and I can cross both eyes. Whoa! Like on different directions. That's fun. Cool. Thanks. This way. Whoa. This way. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> it makes you look so dumb. Dude, you gotta like take more photos. And it hurts like my that. head. It's really funny, though. <laughs> I did it in my Uber the other day. People seem to like it. All right, Noah, what is oh, the yeah. news? Jesus Christ, All get right. to it already. Stop. Come on. You have a boner, Noah. Noah. You have a boner. <laughs> Noah. No, you have a boner. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, do you have a boner, Noah, when you. I have a half stock. <laughs> okay, I'm getting All right. Half stock over here. A TikTok influencer faces criminal charges after hitting mm. a golf ball and allegedly oh, throwing yeah. her golf club. Into the Grand, into the Grand Canyon. Canyon. Yeah, this dumb bitch. What an just, idiot. She's, but she's been charged with tons of things, disorderly conduct, because of her TikToks. These people who do oh. think, if you see a TikTok where someone is causing disruption or pranking someone or just doing something, don't watch it. Don't give it a view. Don't give it a like. Just try to stop yourself from watching it because these people do not need rewards for this stupid behavior. And everything's staged. And ev and if it's not staged, it's just like a menace to society. <laughs> Hitting this this girl, <laughs> I wish she <laughs> fell in the Grand Canyon. This girl is nothing but I don't even know who this girl is. But reading the laundry list of things she's been uh, like charged with and arrested for on TikTok is wasn't there a ton of stuff, Noah? Yeah, she's she's just like a disorderly conduct person. Yeah, that's like her TikTok is just all that stuff. I don't not on TikTok. How often is that stuff coming up for you, Andrew? Where you see stuff that you're like, I don't need this shit. Um, there's a, like I see a lot of fighting. I guess because I watch it long enough to see the knockout, and so they just don't keep watch sending it. Me don't that. give these things something like that. Yeah. I, I would hate. Well, it's harder. It's hard. To... But no, well, it's this, just funny. I was like, reading this article. Gwyneth Paltrow like was like, none of these people are talented, and you're like, I'll find the next SNL person, and then we got to this story. <laughs> well, not from that. <laughs> I this don't one know. girl she the other day be... had the. Funniest one. She was, this girl was just doing an impression of Swifties and it was just a perfect impression. She was like, four, you know, 18 and just so funny. And I was like, who is this girl? But um, I was reading this article about TikTok and how it puts out really disturbing content for some people and you can't help but watch it. And then it gives you more disturbing content oh. where like animals are being abused or people are dying or people are sharing their stories about like molestation and like just triggering stuff like constantly i am terrified to get on tiktok to see that stuff i don't want to see you know animals dying or getting hurt or people i just that's why i never could never watch um tosh.0 oh. i just don't want to see people's balls get ripped open because <laughs> they're you know, that's like so much of what's happening is just exploding balls on that show. Yeah, and I heard that. Or people getting concussed. TikTok, like in other countries, well, well it's a, apparently this is like, I don't know if it's just rumor, but in like China, yeah. they'll show videos of like kids doing math. And then to us, they show kids like dying in a fire to like make us like, like, like they really control authority. like what, what the, uh, what videos are being seen here, apparently. Yeah, and but, I just saw a whole video about like having like um it was on john stewart's show so which i didn't even know if anyone watched that but they clipped it out and put it on reddit and it was all about you know socialized health care and how people are like i like paying taxes i pay 38 percent tax in sweden and i like paying it in because sweden, yeah i don't have to go my kids get their school paid for and they have a great education i don't have to like you get things if you pay taxes other places and here everyone hates taxes because you don't see the result of it anywhere it's so fucked. Other places, the idea that we, the, there was another Reddit the other day that was like, why do Americans think, or it was something about, oh yeah, it was a, a foreigner saying, why do Americans think we want to be them? Like, it is not that way anymore, everyone. Like, it's not, unless you're living in 
maybe like Mexico. It's maybe a dream, but there's no one wants to be here anymore. <laughs> like it's embarrassing. Yeah, we're gonna we're <laughs> there's gonna be people like taking asylum from America. <laughs> like we're gonna be. But running we still into think them. we're the best. Yeah, I mean, and there's there's people that are so much more famous than our celebrities. We think our Hollywood is like the best, and it's like there's other there's a, a, there's celebrities sometimes online where I'll see them and I go, this person is literally. 200 million followers and i've never heard of her a girl named antila or something no idea no yeah. idea who it is and the most fa- and she's uh d- dates maluma or someone I'm they're just all like, one name who are these people yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so famous so much more famous than our kardashian like famous and it, we have no idea who they are our world is so small uh, we gotta go to space okay no next okay, story next one all right a good night's sleep can make us more empathetic more creative and better partners a psychologist mm. offers tips to get a good night's rest. Okay, let's hear him. All right. So during the day, instead of reaching for a caffeine, plunge yeah. your head in the freezer. The brief what? shock of cold activates your arousal system. Yeah, cold showers wake you up, uh, cold splash on the face, head in the freezer. Oh, man, this guy died in a freezer the other night in Brooklyn. Did you see that story? <laughs> he was Queens. No. Yeah, that TikTok was dope. At a donut yeah. place. <laughs> and he was cleaning the freezer overnight. Oh and he man! Got and it fell in back. At three a.m. and by six a.m. he died. And he was a you know immigrant working hard and like just got caught in this freezer. And it's just so sad. Um. So okay. So stick your head in a freezer <laughs> to wake up. So these are things to get a good night's sleep. Oh, so don't have caffeine because caffeine will prevent good night's sleep. Yeah, m- most people end up having caffeine in their systems as they go to sleep if they drink it through the day. Uh, also, okay. another good one during the day: carve out time for scheduled worry so instead of waking up in the middle of the night starting to worry about stuff if you schedule time <laughs> to worry during the day you might prevent it from that's all day i think that's what meditation is <laughs> yeah honestly that yesterday makes sense. i sat down to yeah. meditate and it was 20 minutes of like me sometimes focusing on my breath for like two seconds and then obviously uh, then i would go off on a worry tangent and then by the end of it because you're stuck in your brain and it's just you get to work some shit out. And then by the end of it, I was just much more calmer. I think meditation, people have it as like, you got to be still minded and I'm, I'm going to be thinking the whole time. That's what it is. That's what it is. And uh, mm-hmm. it seemed like I was doing it to just like, let's just get all, let's, let's run into the fire. Ah. Let's run into the freezer and see what's in there and then get through it and not get locked out. Um, yeah, because I'm not. I haven't been meditating at all. I, you know, I meditated for two years straight, every single day, sometimes twice a day, and, and then I took. I've been on a break for years now, and I'm getting back into it. And I just needed it yesterday, and it was just oh, me nice. thinking the whole time and just worrying and just w- working out about all the things I'm stressed out about, and it actually helped. So, um, okay. So what are some Here's other another stuff? one? Declutter your bedroom. Remove all oh, unfinished yeah. tasks. Like if you have like a pile of dirty laundry. Just put it in another room so you don't look at it yeah. before bed. Oh, okay. Or put it in the corner of your room, one of the four corners, <laughs> like Andrew. Like Andrew's four corners. Um, that is true. Like when I have a really messy room, it's harder for me to sleep. That truly checks out. Yesterday I came home and um, Chris had hired a cleaner for our apartment and I walked into a spotless, like the incredible clean apartment that I didn't even recognize this Airbnb that we are staying in. And uh, they even made my weighted blanket that is on the our bed into a bow. Like they squeezed the middle of it. So it was wow. just this big bow on our bed. It was so cute. And I slept so nicely because it was just crisp and cool. And it felt like I was in a hotel. Yeah, there's something about that. Also, if Man. you have like a worry mind, you're just going to be thinking about like somehow that those clothes on the floor is going to be part of your dream. It's in your head somewhere that you're not. Exactly. Is there another clean. room? Do they go away? I guess, but that just feels like something's unfinished. I just think the idea is like something's unfinished in your house, and that's why you're not going to be able to sleep something's perfectly. Always well. unfinished. I know, but does anyone ever have? We every- can lie to ourselves. I was listening I to a podcast about time management, and they found that it is people that have no time for anything, and um, uh, the the you know their their whole schedule is boom 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 boom. They are miserable, okay. And then the more time <laughs> people have, they get happier and happier and happier and happier. And then the people Start with all the time in the world, it goes back to miserable. Yes. So it is as just as miserable as people that have. So it's a it is about a balance of like that's why four days into a vacation you're kind of just like kind of don't like doing nothing. Like I yeah. gotta. That's why the p- 
pandemic made us all crazy. Like having nothing isn't good, but man, the idea that something is coming, like I have a photo shoot tomorrow and it's already stressing me out because I have no shoes. I think I'm going to do it like bare feet just because I don't have any shoes to wear. I didn't bring enough here. Um, and I'm, that's what my, that's my stress today is that I have a photo shoot tomorrow uh, on top of filming a show. And then I have sets at night. My mom's in town and I don't have shoes or cute clothes for it. And I could hire my stylist, but it would be thousands of dollars and I just don't want to do it. So what do I do? Put out a, uh, Instagram story of best shoes to wear with this dress. I don't know. Do something that use Julie's <laughs> shoes. But then I have to get shoes. Julie wears size six and a half, and I'm a nine and a half. So that squeeze into them. Wear Chris's shoes. That's Chris's actually a good shoes. idea. Probably closer to fitting me. <laughs> it's just being a woman is garbage sometimes, everyone. The amount of shoes you have to have for different outfits. If I were a guy, I could just wear one pair of shoes and change out my pants. Chris was trying on stuff the other night, and I was just like, this is so easy. We're at the store? Like, like, you, went, like you went shopping? No, he b- bought a bunch of stuff from Bonobos and was doing a little fashion show here. And I was just like, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. And it's all just muted colors, the same shirt in different colors, the same <laughs> yeah. pants in different colors. Like yeah. one, it's so fucking easy. <laughs> I'm so, and I know it's not easy for all men. Like some guys don't know what the fuck they're doing, but women, you got to have, you know, the jewelry to match the thing. Like, and I know you don't have to, but man, it ups your look, man, it ups man. your look. All right, we got to go to break. Uh, we'll come back with more bitching and moaning after it is. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Um, my mom just wrote me, by the way. Nikki, did you happen to buy a lottery ticket? Because $2 billion one was in Los Angeles County. <laughs> and they haven't found the Aww. winner yet. $2 billion? I tell you, mom, but no. Yeah, $2 billion. Someone won. The jackpot. Yeah. I know. Oh my I know. god. It's so much money. Um, but no, it was it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Um, all right, let's do it's been a while. Let's do um it's been a while. Since I've um been. why do I care? Why do I care? Now, what's our celeb story of the day? Celeb story of the day, newly crowned people's twenty twenty two sexiest man uh. alive, Chris Evans jokes he's already feeling his age. Getting older, things are clicking and sore, and it's harder to wake up. Yeah, I'd say things are clicking. You just got people's sexiest man alive. Things are clicking. What? <laughs> yeah. are, first of all, I don't agree. No offense to Chris Evans. He is a, not a hot guy that has ever been on my radar. I love hot guys. I even told Chris last night, I was like, I don't get this one. He is such a plain Jane. There's nothing about him that's interesting. It's just so bland. He's also 41, I should mention. He's 41. Is that too old? Okay, then he's feeling it. No. no. Oh. You feel it at 41 no. a little bit, for sure. Yeah, you feel things clicking and sticking, but like, um, okay, so he's getting older, but he's he looks better with age, I have to say that, as than he did when he was in his 20s and he was in like um, Not Another Teen Movie or whatever. I just have never been attracted to him. You know who is a guy that looks like him, who is does have that next level hotness? What's his name from Top Gun? The blonde guy from Top Gun looks like Chris Evans, but like has a hotness to him. Oh, the one that we thought looked like a chocolate that, bunny? That guy? Yeah, the one that you thought <laughs> looked, was carved out of chocolate. Chris Evans looks like he's carved out of chocolate to me. Yeah, he does. It just looks like... He's too like... He just um, is, Ameri- <laughs> he's just the American made man. Like he, If you think of like... Someone that's he looks like, like he like totally like this. Yeah, he's got blue. Like, he's just kind of be dumb. Blue eyes. Just I don't. You know, like I don't. He's just like very American. He's just exactly what you. Would, I'm talking like you know what I boring. want in my blonde, boring white men. I want a Chris Pine. There's like structure to his uh, face. There's like piercing yes. blue eyes. There's like full lips. I don't want. Th- I don't want to. Um, who is the guy that Katie Holmes dated? Who is in? Um. Not I know what you did less, or maybe he was. Well, not Freddie Prince was a great looking guy, but this guy, um, oh, he was in Election. He's just kind of like, Duh, and he was in American Pie. Remember that guy? Oh, Stifler? No, no, Stifler's a great looking <laughs> blonde guy. This guy isn't blonde. American Pie. He was like the jock guy. Hold on. Yes, Chris Pine up. is a is a is a more 
interesting looking Chris Evans. Chris Klein. Chris Klein. Bo- Chris Klein. <laughs> what is happening? Boring here? looking. That's what that Chris Pine and Chris Klein and Chris. <laughs> Wait, what? Evans, Evans so are the same to me. Yes, I see that. I could see They're that. They're just bo- it's boring. And I I have a boring face too. I mean, it takes one to know one. So it's it just doesn't do it for me. Um sexiest man alive, who would you guys say? If like to win Tom like Hardy. if you cuz you want to who? Tom Hardy. Okay. That's a good one. I know. I've never That's really gotten into one. Tom Hardy. Oh, I love him. But really, he's like rugged. He's not he looks like a model, but he's just off a model. No, you guys, he has cauliflower ear. He looks, no. What? No, this <laughs> guy Hardy? is not. What? The? Yes. He does not. Maybe that he was for like a movie One of his ears role. is coming out too far, and not that that's a horrible thing. And his, I think his nose is, I don't like his nose. He just looks like a normal person that's that fine. you would see. He'll be mine. I don't know. He's, he's sexy too normal, here. Noah. I mean, there, that's a sexy man right there. That's a. Wait, let me see. He kind of looks like. Show me that picture. I think it's. No, that is a basic guy. That's a guy that put on a suit that just. That guy but could live. Manage a quiz nose. No, that guy is not special. There is nothing special about that guy's looks. I will not allow it. But Tom okay. Hardy, if you're listening, you to. are special to me. What about someone like Sasha Baron Cohen? <laughs> I'm alone on Like this. something outside the box. It's not like. No. You're, no. <laughs> Sexiest man alive? I just no. said a Jewish guy. Like, like, what silly. about a Jewish guy? <laughs> Yeah, Didn't, I mean, what's his name? Andrew, just who win? are you gonna go with? Didn't what's his name just went? Paul Rudd just won recently. Didn't he win? Yeah, last he won year? last year. I mean, oh, I yeah, get that. He's really hot. But Paul Rudd again is just that all American look. He looks like Chris Evans if he, Chris Evans never worked out. Like they kind of have the Barack same. Barack Obama. That'd be hot, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it'd be weird to be like. He's mine. Yeah. <laughs> no, I guess mine is probably. God, who is just like bringing it? I mean, um, Cole from Blind Love. <laughs> no, that looks. Oh, okay, so, you he know looks who? Like Chris Evans. He's so cute. No, he's a cutie. Um, Clay from season eight of Alone. Holy moly! I had to tell Chris. I'm like, I am attracted to. It is it weird to be watching a show with your boyfriend and just you feel so attracted to one of the people you have to let him know. Like if I was watching it with my girlfriend, I'd be like, I like, I can't get over it. like. I had to tell him. Did you tell him at the beginning? Of, what about, oh, Henry no, Cavall. I, the feelings built, and I was like, I'm keeping this to myself, and then it felt like I was keeping a secret from him, because every time Clay would come <laughs> on screen, and so now it's a joke with us, every time Clay does ever, anything, I'm just like, he is just so strong. He is, he's poetic, like, he misses his, I'm just like, <laughs> his, he mentions his wife, and I like growl. Um, yeah, it's become like a joke for us, but I, I, I felt like in, I felt like I was cheating on him with my thoughts mm-hmm. by watching the show with him and not telling him how I felt about Clay. Um, all right, let's get to our Wednesday segment that Noah has come up with. I love this idea. It's new. Hey. It's fun. Let's do it. Okay, this <laughs> segment is called Finish the Taylor Swift Lyric. I'm going to read a Taylor Swift lyric and you guys are going to finish it with your own interpretation. With our own words. So we're not guessing what the... It's not like this is a guessing game of like, how well do you know Taylor Swift's lyrics? This is like, how would you finish the song if you were talking? Right. Or exactly. how would you finish the lyric? Yes. Okay. If this is going to be fun. Mm-hmm. Okay. So first one. They say all's well that ends well, but I'm in a new hell. Um, uh, let me just add the word every time. Every, every time. time you... Every time you. So she's talking to someone. So they say all's well that ends well, but I'm in a new hell every time you blank. Um, mine would be ask me to go hiking. Oh, we don't have to sing it. It's just, okay. I will. You you all's well that, that ends, ends well. well, but I'm in a new hell every time yeah. you ask me to go outside. <laughs> You said if we stopped at REI, we could get some good <laughs> supplies that would make it so I didn't want to die. The idea of you and me on a cliff is disgusting and I don't want to do it now. Let's watch alone instead. I want to watch people being outside. I don't want to do it. Please don't make me Ted. I forgot your name is Chris. Klein. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Klein. <laughs> 
Okay, Andrew, what makes you want to die? Um, or uh, what's your? I'm in a new hell every time you ask me to go shopping because we never just get one thing. I like to go in and out. I don't want to <laughs> sit there while you try on forty things. Seriously, why are we why going back in she... this store? I don't know. Does she like you to look at her in different things? Does she need your support? Why does she not just go by herself? Because I think that is probably it. She likes when I sit down, when I have to shit. I got to find one in Nordstrom's. Is it all the way to the left? Oh, it's to the right. Oh, my God. I'm going to shit. Oh, my God. I Why are they I so far away? I feel the same way about shopping with my boyfriend. <laughs> it's so boring. He... Takes longer than me. I go into stores and then I see, see a shirt. shirt. I put it over my shirt that I am wearing in the store. I don't go and try it on in a dressing room because I know the lighting will be shit and I'll look like a I'm on Zoom. <laughs> yeah, nice. I um I hate going shopping too, and Chris takes longer than me, and I, it's not it's he's it, it's it's not like he's like torturous, but I end up being like sitting on the couches with the guys that are waiting for their wives. <laughs> he likes shopping like and taking his time and trying on things and being meticulous, and I just I love shopping. That's why I have, have so a, many clo- items have a, that I don't. There's a goal in mind. A like plan. Goal. you go, oh, like you want plan. these Nikes, and they're at Champs. Let's let's do it. That's fun. Let's go. We'll go. Then we'll go get food. No, that's not what shopping is to women. I shopping know. is like let's see what's out there. Let's see and what's see out what there. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. And I do like shopping. Aisle. Me and Noah went shopping. Um, yeah, we went to the vintage store. That was so successful. Did that mini skirt work? Yes. Have you worn it yet? Boner. Yes. <laughs> Boner alert. Noah bought a mini skirt just for home use. What the hell? And a to black get mini skirt. The top shelf. What's happening? Over there? I have been looking <laughs> yeah. for just like a black mini skirt. <laughs> I don't have to the airport. Like <laughs> he did have a boner. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I was looking for a black mini skirt for I don't know how many months that I didn't like spend too much money on because I don't like wearing mini skirts in public. We walk into this vintage shop. Nikki is in there for less than two seconds, and she's like, "Here you go." It really was the uh, first thirty seconds shocked. that I'm so fast. I'm just I'm so I, efficient. And, but I, you know, we were there. I got a really cool belt with stars on it. I got um, some pants that I like that I love too. So I, I do like shopping, but I like vintage shopping, and that's where you go. And I don't know what I'm gonna find, but mall shopping, retail shopping, when I just see everything as future landfill, it makes mm. me want to, to die. <laughs> okay, next okay, next thing. How do we end up on the floor anyway? You say. Okay, so this is um, the your boyfriend or your girlfriend asks you. How do how do we end up on the floor anyway? You say, and then what do you say? Um, oh wait a second, no, she asked that. So you ask, how do we end up on the floor anyway? And then what do they say? Or let's do it the other way. They ask you, how did you? <laughs> yes, what that's what I imagine. What is happening right now? You guys are I on feel the floor. Very confused. Okay, so we're so on. The, you're the on the floor with your significant okay. other. Okay. Okay, and in the morning, and then you, um, they ask. How did we end up on the floor anyway, you say? I, and then what do I you say? I started drinking again, and I'm sorry. I had a few <laughs> Jaeger bombs. It was my way. And now I just fucking pissed on you I all the I thought yours day. was going to be, I bent down to pet our cat, Nacho, that's how, or whatever <laughs> cat's name, Mango, Nacho. that's how. And now I can't get up now. Because um, I'm like Chris my Evans. My so fucking weak. <laughs> I'm like Chris Evans because um, like, I can't get up either, you know? We're so alike. So, uh, oh, yeah, you guys with your creaky bones. Have you ever started having sex Sexiest on your bed and you end up floor. on the floor somehow? That's happened like twice in our relationship, and it's really funny. No, I'm not dating a 25-year-old. Yeah, She's 26, in Nikki. <laughs> fucking a god i'm so sick of that um i no i don't i don't think we've ever ended up on the floor um actually no that's not true we have but that was when we were um because they're yeah that we've ended up on the floor it's been so long though since it's been <laughs> like that i did read a thing on reddit yesterday that was like just know that anytime you go over someone's house and you're on their couch they've had that couple has had sex on yeah their couch. every part of the house i think about yeah. that all the time and i was like yeah i used to have a couch and my roommate had sex on my couch before i did hey i was alone and stayed i was it. alone 
<laughs> you had sex with the couch. That's different. <laughs> that comes inside the couch. Were... Thank you. It's not on top of it. Big J Oakerson it pulls out. Has a you know he, he said that when he was a kid he used to stick his dick in between the couch cushions and that's how he would jerk it's off. So smart. I don't understand yeah. why more people wouldn't do that. Because um, there's pennies. How in did there. it end up on the floor anyway? Um, we're staying at an Airbnb and the table is small and that's the only place we could eat our tie. Oh, that's the gotcha. Nice. That's kind of cute. So that's why I'd be on the floor with my boyfriend. Probably is eating food. Cindy didn't eat style. Yeah, that's. It's very tough. Or, yeah, but I I can't see us having sex on this floor. It's very rough and hard. And not maybe if you started really on good. the floor. All right, yeah. next lyric. Yeah, we yeah. If we started on the floor, we'd end up. Have you banged on that couch behind your shoulder? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> Have not. Someone at that Airbnb we, has. That made me feel sad when I read that thing. I was like, oh, Chris and I haven't christened that fucking love seat. It's not a love seat yet. Yeah. Love seat on this face. Okay. <laughs> All right. This next lyric comes from Nothing New, which features Phoebe Bridgers. Phoebe Bridgers, yeah. And I know it's sad, but this is what I think about. I wake up in the middle of the night. What do you think about? Oh, mm. and I know it's sad. Probably what exactly what that song is about, which is being replaced by younger women. Um, but mine is actually, what do I wake up in the middle of the night thinking about? Um, the photo shoot I have to do the next day and how much sleep I'm not going to get um, before just looking at my week and worrying about it. Isn't it funny you wake up in the middle of the night when you could be sleeping to worry about how much sleep you're not going to get the, oh, the coming the days? Ugh. That's what I worry about. I worry about how um, I'm going to have to cancel a meeting that I do the next day and postpone it, which is what I'm going to do right after this meeting or <laughs> this meeting, this podcast. I'm going to postpone a meeting that I don't want to have because I just don't have anything to really say or yet on the matter. And um, yeah, and then I'm going to go crawl back in bed. And uh, it's a clean room, so I'm going to sleep well. What about you, Andrew? What do you w- worry about in the middle of the night? Probably, it depends. But if I have to do something in the morning, I tend to worry about waking up in the morning, which then keeps me up at night, which is fucking annoying. So like a flight or yeah, a call. Yeah, something a that you time? can't get out Would of. Would a tea time keep you up? Uh, tea time, I feel, anything that I can't, feel like I can't get away from. If I feel trapped by any means, I'm very yes. bad. That's just in anything in my life. But yeah. Yes. That and probably like. Commitment phobe. Yeah, that and just, I don't know. There's so many sad fucking things going on in the world. Well, how can you sleep perfectly? Yes. I always wonder how people. Oh, no, I sleep all the way through the night. I never. Like, how? I've never. I wake up in the, the night, but I don't, I really don't wake up to worry. I don't, I I don't think I, I said that, but I wake up to go to the bathroom and then I just go back to bed. It's rare that I don't. Do you look at your phone sleep. when you go to the bathroom? Will you, is it, will you yeah, check it I for would, a no, second? No, because I'm usually still tired. Yeah. I just wake up bleary eyed and I just go to the bathroom and then I just <laughs> kind of go back to bed and I look at the time and then I just fall. Okay. If you have to my... pee or poop. Do you, ter- what mm-hmm. do you do with a bat? Poop in the middle of the night? No, that's never happened. What? what? Wait, wait, you've never pooped in I've the I've never middle. had to wake up in the middle never? of the night and had to poop ever. What? Literally oh. ever. No. <laughs> uh, my body just knows that it's not time in the middle of the night. That's just, it, I, it wouldn't happen. You've for never me. had, I don't know, bubble guts in your stomach and you're like, oh no, ugh, I can't wait. And you have it's to just poop probably in the wait dark. the morning. I've never really pooped in the morning either. It's always like, after I have co- like it'll be after this podcast that it's like time for me. <laughs> wow, I pooped <laughs> so many times in the in middle right of the night. So many times. Really? Yeah. I mean, I interesting. But I was gonna ask if you turn the light on or do you just shit in the dark or do you pee in the dark? No, I turn. It depends. I can do both though. Interesting. It doesn't wake me up to turn on the light too much. Just don't get look at your phone. Don't go back in your phone. It's gonna wake you up. Yeah, for sure. It's almost like you want to stay up. Like you guys gotta, you're only up to get to the bathroom and then get back in your little sleeping bag. All right, final thought. Let's do one more. And now that I'm grown, I'm scared of. And now that I'm grown, I'm scared of. uh, The show alone. No, I don't know what I'm scared of now. And now that I'm grown, I'm scared of. Um... Not being as talented as people think I am. 
Or that I've uh, tricked everyone into thinking I am. <laughs> Getting murdered <laughs> while jogging. now I'm grown, I'm scared of people having expectations for me and not meeting them. And now that I'm grown, I'm scared of comedians talking behind my back and saying I'm not that funny. And now that I'm grown, I'm scared of um, people making fun of me. And now that I'm grown, I'm scared of my skin falling off my face. And now that I'm grown, I'm scared of... Um, uh, just aging and now that I'm grown I'm scared of my hair falling out and now that I'm grown I'm scared of not having cute enough clothes and now that I'm grown I'm scared of all the same things I was scared of when I was young now that what I'm about you Andrew grown I'm scared I can't get hard without a pill that's it oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay that's it for us you guys thank you for listening to the show we will be back tomorrow with one more show for, to round out the week uh, uh, love you guys so much. Uh, see you this weekend, hopefully. And um, uh, don't be kuh and jackpot. Because uh, I couldn't think of anything yeah, else. Yeah, pot. Just it feels classic. like a nice pot today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jack pottery. <laughs> <laughs>